Well, opposition activists in Syria say 162 people were killed across the country Monday. This video claims to show the aftermath of bombing by Syrian government planes in the town of Idlib. One opposition group claims 32 people, including women and children, were killed in a massacre there. Another amateur video posted online shows huge plumes of smoke rising from Idlib province. Further south, a suicide bomber killed at least 50 Syrian soldiers at a checkpoint in Hama province. The British-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights made the announcement. A spokesperson says the Free Syrian Army and other opposition groups likely organized the bombing. State media report two people died, not 50. They've also been covering another car bombing, this one in the capital, Damascus. The explosion killed at least 11 people. An anti-government activist told NHK that the target was a building used by pro-government militias. The Syrian military has been intensifying air attacks on opposition strongholds in the north, including Idlib and Aleppo. Scenes of panic and confusion. This is said to be the Maze al Jabal district of the Syrian capital, minutes after an alleged car bombing. The footage shown on state run Al Iqbariya television cannot be independently verified by Al Jazeera. It appears that among the injured children, one news agency said there were a number of dead. Locals appeared dazed, unsure where to go. Rescue workers surveyed the scene of destruction. <laughs> Further north and the aftermath of what is said to have been an aerial attack on the city of Marat al numan in Idlib province. Crowds gather to pull survivors from the rubble. The city has been the scene of intense fighting this year. Much of Idlib borders Turkey and is controlled by anti-government forces. However, rebels say they and the civilian populations remain vulnerable to attacks from the air. And in Aleppo Monday, smoke and haze and the sound of gunfire, another city that has seen fierce clashes between government forces and opposition groups.